Welcome to Real Vision. My name is Santiago Velez. Uh, I am co-founder of Block Digital Corporation. And today I'm excited to bring to you two guests, uh, both from Trial, a uh, company specializing in blockchain applied to clinical trials. So I have with us today, Mr. Raymond Vanderwall and Hadil S. Sabai. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Excellent. So, Hadil, you are the CEO of Trial, and Raymond, you are the uh, the uh, head of marketing. Is that correct? That's correct. Great. So, I'd like to introduce the both of you to our audience and give a little bit about your background. So, how about we start with Hadil? If you can tell us uh, how you got to be CEO of Trial and and what what brought you to to this platform, and then a little bit about your your background, and and, and then we'll move on to Raymond. Yeah, great. Again, thanks so much for uh, for having us. Really excited to be on your show. Um, uh, my name is uh, Hadil Espai. I'm heading up the trial team uh, as CEO. Um, I've accumulated over 22 years in clinical development uh, experience and expertise and assumed different roles uh, within the pharmaceutical, uh, but also the clinical contract research industry. Um, started my entrepreneurial life back in 2006 and founded several life science companies along the way. One of them is Trial. Uh, and at Trial, um, we're all about building towards the world's first multi-sided platform for clinical research professionals. Uh, and there we apply blockchain to, talk, to tackle some of the industry-wide pain points that make clinical trial operations uh, very complex, uh, lengthy and resource inefficient. I'm very happy that we will find some time to get into more details there. Uh, my own passion is that I love to translate innovation to meaningful products and services that, that solve clinical research professionals' issues and problems because they work so hard to develop medicine uh, for unmet medical needs. And, and I see myself as a generalist who brings out the best um, out of different experts, all geared towards a common goal. Fantastic. Thank you, Adil. Raymond. Sure. So uh, my name is Raymond van der Waal, and I'm also co-founder and head of marketing at Trial. Uh, I have a background in biomedical sciences and did a master in management and entrepreneurship uh, within the health and life sciences. Uh, over the past five years, I built experience as a researcher, consultant, and entrepreneur, uh, where I started my career as a PhD candidate conducting research on the impact of market intelligence and emerging technology such as blockchain on medical R&D. Well, around that same time, I also got involved with trial, which uh, gradually became a full-time commitment and where I'm now responsible for all of our marketing, uh, communication and partnering activities. Well, personally, my passion is really to make uh, complex technologies understandable to a larger audience. And in that capacity, I've also assisted other technology-driven healthcare ventures uh, with applying and writing for public funding, mostly European grants proposals. That's fantastic. Thank you. So, you know, what I took away from that, I guess, common thread here is you both seem to have a passion for both the industry you're in now, the clinical trials, but also essentially bringing technology to, to a, solve some specific problem in that industry and then communicating that to your target audience. It could, it, it could be the users of the platform or just uh, it, the world at large so that they can understand how this, this technology can be leveraged uh, you know, to, to have better outcomes. Because I think that's, that's what we want. So yes. on that note, can you tell us a little bit about maybe what the main problem is with the existing infrastructure around clinical trials? What we see is that the clinical trial industry is currently hampered by several issues that make clinical research overly complex, lengthy, and resource inefficient. And this is really very clearly demonstrated by the extremely long development timelines, as it currently takes 10 years of clinical trials before a new medicine can enter the market. Uh, and it's also demonstrated by the high failure rates, uh, with only one in 10 medicines eventually making it to the market uh, after they started the clinical trial process. So at start, you have about 10 different compounds, and only one of those will eventually be authorized for market introduction. Um, what we see if we look at the clinical research industry is that these clinical trials that test the safety and efficacy of new medicines in patients are becoming more digital 
um, data driven and decentralized. And what I mean with decentralized is that they take increasingly place outside of the hospital, uh, which is made possible by mobile technologies and devices. As a result, uh, this means that there is a power shift happening from the clinical trial sponsor to the patient, where more and more of the data being generated during clinical trials uh, is generated by devices that are owned by the patient. So this is really a big shift, but this brings a lot of privacy, regulatory, and technical challenges. And what we see is that um, there's currently a lot of fragmentation happening and upper interoperability constraints where data is often scattered across different systems and devices. Uh, and as a result, many clinical trial professionals experience a lack of oversight over their clinical trial activities, uh, which leads to uh, a lot of unnecessary costs, it leads to delays, uh, and it's also at the source of a growing number of data integrity issues being found uh, during clinical trial inspections. So we're trying, we set out to address these issues and use blockchain and other related standards to enable this new digital and decentralized operating model. Well said. Yeah, go ahead, Adil. And, and maybe, maybe to add to that, uh, Santiago. So what we've seen because of the pandemic, right, the COVID-19 pandemic, is that there was a tremendous need for uh, managing and overseeing complex processes like clinical trials from a remote setting, right? Because the hospitals were not accessible, uh, investigators were super busy with just dealing eh, with the influx of COVID-19 patients and, and, and reorganizing all the care. So the classical way of how we would manage, oversee and gather data in a clinical trial was in many cases not possible. So that really created a big need for everybody who was involved in clinical trials to start thinking about a way where where uh, you know where you could continue to manage and monitor your patients right um, and that often meant applying new technologies uh, that would enable uh, remote management uh, that would also enable uh, you know looking at data from a remote setting but still being sure that the way the data has been collected, has been gathered, uh, that what the data says in terms of safety and efficacy, that this is actually true without the need to physically go to the location as we used to, we used to do and very, very verify that data on site. Um, so the whole idea of, uh, you know, of, 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 of having to, to, to work in another way to make sure that you can guarantee the continuity of your clinical trial and also, you know, make sure that the, the rights of the patients, also the well-being of the patients, you know, and, and the compliance of the patients within a, for a specific study protocol uh, is, is met, is something that we've also been looking at at TRA. And we think that blockchain, together with digitalization across the board, so the combination of both technologies, could really help us to make sure that moving forward, you know, uh, we are better harnessed against the disruption like a pandemic, for instance. So it has been a tremendous push uh, and it's broken down some of the innovation barriers that were there, you know, uh, prior to the pandemic, I would say.